During World War II, kamikaze attacks were a pivotal and devastating tactic employed by the Japanese military against Allied forces, including U.S. ships. The term kamikaze translates to divine wind and referred to the use of suicide pilots who deliberately crashed their aircraft into enemy ships. The origins of kamikaze tactics can be traced to Japan's dire military situation in the latter stages of the war. Facing severe losses and realizing the imbalance of power against the Allies, Japanese military leaders sought alternative strategies to counter the enemy's naval dominance. The kamikaze operations began in late 1944 as a response to the U.S. military's advancing Pacific campaign. The first official kamikaze mission took place during the Battle of Lady Gulf in the Philippines in October 1944. These suicide missions became more prevalent as the war progressed, particularly during the latter part of 1944 and 1945. The kamikaze pilots, often young and highly patriotic volunteers, were trained to fly their aircraft usually older planes or those nearing obsolescence directly into enemy vessels. These suicide attacks were aimed at causing maximum damage and loss of life on Allied ships, particularly carriers, battleships, and other high-value targets. The attacks were characterized by their surprise and ferocity, inflicting heavy casualties and significant damage on U.S. ships. They brought a new form of psychological warfare, striking fear into Allied sailors as they faced the unrelenting threat of sudden aerial assaults. The U.S. Navy, initially unprepared for these suicide missions, later developed countermeasures. Strategies such as improved anti-aircraft weapons, radar systems, and combat air patrols were implemented to defend against the kamikaze attacks. The Allied forces also refined tactics for intercepting and neutralizing incoming suicide planes. Despite their impact, kamikaze attacks did not alter the ultimate course of the war. The sheer determination of the Allied forces, coupled with superior resources and technology, continued to push back the Japanese military. Ultimately, the kamikaze strategy, while causing significant losses and damage, could not reverse the tide of the war. Japan's surrender in 1945 marked the end of World War II, emphasizing that the kamikaze attacks ultimately did not succeed in changing the conflict's outcome in favor of Japan. The history of kamikaze attacks on U.S. ships stands as a stark reminder of the extreme measures taken during times of desperation and warfare, reflecting both the tragic loss of life and the bravery displayed by individuals on both sides of the conflict. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share.